Okay, no, I would like to do it. I'll have to do it a cappella. It was written as a talking disco blues, okay? Sure. But um, all I can do is click my fingers, and it's, t it's a, basically speaking, what it is is my reaction to an interview I had with a uh, <clears throat> major magazine in this country. <laughs> okay. okay. Bleep! Um, and uh, the only thing you have to know is that Timey's machine is referring to the editing room. Okay? Goes like this. <laughs> Ripping along towards middle age, and my music career kind of skipped a page. Record sales began to drop, the management all began to hop. Not to worry, they said, you'll see what you need is some fresh publicity. Just give us a nod, and we'll all leap towards putting you back at the top of the heap. <laughs> I said, fine, I'll give it a whack. I hung up the phone and I turned my back. Began daydreaming I was somebody else when the phone jumped down from the wall to the shelf. We just had a break. This is really fine. We can make the January issue of time if you'll give us Monday a week from today from 2 to 4. Now, what do you say? Well, I said, time, time, mag, mag. You got me on the rag, rag. Take your insults about the queen and shove them up your royal timey's machine. <laughs> but I scribbled it down on the wall calendar and I wondered about my interviewer. Well, maybe he'd be just a real nice guy, bright and sympathetic with a roving eye and he'd forget all about the assignment due, formality, photos in the interview, and hop on into his big rent-a-car and go for a lovely drive not far. Maybe France. <laughs> As the big day approached, it slipped my mind till my secretary showed up at the house to remind me to switch into gear for the big coup de grace, the meeting with the man from the media. I swept the driveway and polished the phone and put on a Kenzo knit and two-tone, fluffed the pillows on the burgundy chair and made up my eyes and fixed my hair. All in that order. When he called to say he was three hours late, my cheerful facade began to disintegrate. The photographer would be even later still. She was hopelessly lost in the nearby hills. He arrived, not exactly the man of my dreams, not bad for a rep from the Timeese machine, asked me a wandering question of three, and I thought he was actually listening to me. Ha! And I said, time, time, mag, mag, you got me on the rag, rag, take your insults about the queen and shove them up your royal Timeese machine. Curious about his interest, I babble my way through the worldwide list. Ireland, Chile, and the African states, poetry, politics, and how they relate. Motherhood and music and moog synthesizers, political prisoners and commie sympathizers. Hetero, homo, and bisexuality, and where they all stand in the 1970s. But then suddenly it stopped and he started to lobby. He said, tell me some inside stuff about Bobby. Bobby who? I smiled and said, and the Thai man's face was laced with red. I know you two used to know each other, and I know you refer to him as being your brother, and I know that you know where he's coming from. I said, you know a lot for being... Um, <laughs> and I said, time, time, mag, mag, you got me on the bleep, bleep. Take your... In <laughs> about the queen and shove them up your royal timey's machine well i never gave him quite what he came for the inside story and it's really a shame for i never made the january issue of time and just before i run out of words that rhyme i really should tell you that deep in my heart i don't give a damn where i stand on the charts not as long as the sun sinks into the west and that's going to be a pretty serious test of time